Hello, it's Jamie. I just pulled the rack out and I'm uh, going to show you how everything looks on the back. Here's the console server. I cabled them in with red cables just so that I knew that each one was a console cable going to each device. These are actually custom made. Um, if I pull one out, you probably won't be able to see it very well. I can't see it. boot off. Well, turns out that it's been on there so long it won't actually come off. But if you want a wiring diagram, I can actually get that for you. Um, if you've got some basic soldering skills, it's very easy to do. Um, made sure that all my power cables are very neat on the back of here. None of them are plugged in right now since they will all be turned on switches, Cisco switches don't have power on and off switch which is very nice since they don't actually accidentally get turned off in a production network. Here's my patch panel looking nice and neat there. My two 1841s as you can see console cable goes in and then my fast ethernet ports which are connected to the patch panel and my 2600 series routers we have a serial connection going to the back of it I originally cabled it all just dangling there it looked messy, it drove me nuts kept me up at night on just a couple of occasions but I spent a day cabling it and making it look all pretty like I said in my previous video I don't like a messy network like to keep it all neat and it really helps if you walk into a network and there's a problem you don't have to mess around with cables it just helps out a lot so keep that in mind um, all this equipment really isn't necessary for the CCNA I'm actually planning on going on to the CCMP and maybe if I feel like it and if I can study it the CCIE but most of this will work for the CCNP track. If you have any questions about any of this, just let me know.